yeah, we're continuing with the Pokemon edibility tier list. We're starting with Alolan. Alola. Al Al Alola. Also, I'm not 100% sure if I know all of these character, all these Pokemon names. <laughs> Starting with Rowlet Lion. Uh, they are owls. I don't see why they wouldn't be edible, but uh, just because they're owls, uh, and I feel weird eating out more weird eating owls than um, other bird type Pokemon. You're going in emergency rations. Next is Litten to its Incineroar line. Litten? I think it's just a fire cat. <laughs> it's just a fire cat. I don't think it- I don't think there's like anything special about its physiology that would make it inedible, so... Um... There are also emergency rations. I honestly think all three of the Alolan starters would be emergency- emergency rations. Poplio as well. You're just a little funny little seal guy. But I still feel bad eating you, but you're not inedible, so... I think this Pokemon is called like... Picky Peck? I don't understand how- I'm pretty sure Picky Peck is supposed to be a woodpecker. I don't know how it's supposed to evolve into a toucan, but whatever. <laughs> Honestly, just because they're a bird, I'd put them in everyday meals, I think. I think this is a young goose. They're based off like mongoose. Mon- 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 mongoose? Mon mongoose? Mongoose? I don't really know what the plural of mongoose is. I assume it'd be mongoose. <laughs> But I guess you don't call- you don't call moose meese, huh? I don't know if people can eat mongoose. I feel like mongoose has like something weird about it that makes it th so that people can't eat mongoose or something. Mongoose and other species are consumed as bush meat, make, which may also contribute to leptospirosis exposure and infection in humans. Okay. I don't think it'd be, it would be inedible, but it might be more like closer to unhygienic. Because I do think... What's the freaking lore behind Young Goose? Was the Young Goose the one that like they introduced to Alola in order to get rid of a um invasive species or um an over overpopulated species, but then ended up being an overpopulated species itself. Specifically to like curb the Rotata population and then it didn't really work. <laughs> Probably is edible, but could give you some gnarly diseases. Yeah, I think so. So I'll put you in potentially unhygienic. The grub in line. Can't eat grubs. <laughs> Definitely edible, Ed. Yeah, this line is edible. I just wouldn't eat them uh, very often. <laughs> Only if you're in a really bad spot. Her brawler, I feel like, is a, is a pretty easy one, but I want to check the Pokedex entries just in case. Not just so much as pincers come off from overuse, grow back quickly. Whatever meat they contain is rich and delicious. <laughs> yeah, crab baller, I feel like you'd almost be like a gourmet meal. Cause crab meat is so good. Um, next is all the oricario birds. Oricario can change, um, form depending on, like, um, what f nectar from different flowers they drink. I feel like, honestly... I would honestly kind of make Oricorio almost like a delicacy at that point. Like each um, Alolan island um, would have like different ways of preparing Oricorio. Uh, I'll just take the fire type Oricorio and just put it straight into gourmet meal, honestly. That will represent all the other Oricorios. I think this cutie fly appears to be based on the bee fly, specifically the species Anastero. Nitidulus. You also be inspired by the fairy fly, okay. I think I've established before that I really don't have any issue when it comes to like eating bugs, <laughs> unless... Well, I wouldn't have any issue eating bugs if, if there, there was nothing else for me to eat, so... I do think it would probably be like similar to eating a bee, though. I don't know if bees are specifically edible. <laughs> Cutie fly, you'd probably go into emergency rations, honestly. I don't think it would even fill you up that much, but it's fine, I guess. A uh, rockruff line. Um, I do kind of feel like um rockruff would be similar to his, his swing Growlithe, in that um it could be a delicacy if it, you like prepare it in like the same way as like beggar's chicken. So I think it's only fair that I also put rockruff in gourmet meal, honestly. <laughs> Wishy washy, you're you're a fish. You're a fish. You're, you're a fish. 
know it's Mary Annie. Probably can't eat this, um, honestly. I think it, I'm pretty sure it's a poison dive. Honestly, uh, would probably kill you if you ate it, honestly. <laughs> Mud Bray is just a donkey, I think. It eats dirt to create muds and smears this mud all over its feet, giving them the grip to walk on rough terrain without slipping. Okay. I would put Mud Bray in Plant or Tasteless. It would probably just taste like eating mud, honestly. This one is Dewpiter, I think? Okay, they're based on diving mill spiders, okay. Um, I don't think there's anything in Dewpiter's, like, physiology that would imply that it would be- have, like, any poison in its system, so... Emergency food for Mantis. Actually, yeah, it isn't a bug-type Pokémon, it is just a grass-type Pokémon. Um... So it doesn't matter if you can eat mantises, it's whether or not you can eat orchids, and I don't think you can. <laughs> Flowers of all orchids are considered edible, and some are even ingested as herbal 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 medicines in certain cultures. Some species do cause stomach irritation when you consume them. No orchids are the only edible fruit bearing for orchid species in the world. Okay. I guess there's really nothing in for mantises. Uh, Pokedex entries that would imply that it wouldn't be- that it would be, um, toxic to human consumption, so. Honestly, put you in healthy snacks. Pretty sure this one is mortal. Grass fairy, it is a fungus. Scatters floor spores that flicker and glow, and he once seen these lights fall into a deep slumber. There's nothing in the Pokedex entries that would imply, um, tox- any toxi toxicity, um, for the moral line, so, um, as we do with, um, <laughs> as we do with mushroom-type Pokemon here, um, drugs, <laughs> Solandit. I think, yeah, the poison is probably, like, so integrated into the Solandit system that it will kill you if you eat it, um, um, next is Stuffline. <laughs> Stuffel is a bear, but I think it is meant to be based off, um, you know, stuffed bears. None of the Pokedex entries seem to reference, um, the fact that it's a stuffed animal, though, I don't think. Yeah, it is possible that it doesn't, it doesn't even have, like, physiology of a stuffed animal. <laughs> it just looks like one, I guess, so otherwise it wouldn't be, like, so freaking strong that it could you know, snap a man's neck just by flexing. It is bear meat. <laughs> it is bear meat. Everyday meals, I guess. It's bound sweet line. <laughs> bound sweet, I feel like it's definitely edible. Um, I put bound sweet in these snacks, I guess, then. Next is Comfey. Attaches flowers to its highly nutritious vine. This revitalizes the flowers and it give off an aromatic scent. Yeah, this is actually another health food Pokemon, so. And there. Arngur and Passaman, um, solely because they're monkeys, um, questionably ethical, honestly. <laughs> Is this Pokemon again? Wimpod, um, I feel like they are edible, but I don't think I'd want to eat them, honestly. Because I know people eat trilobites, so, but even emergency rations, I think. Palisand is just sand <laughs> and edible. Yukimuku is like a sea cucumber, I think. Sea cucumber is a delicacy that has been a symbol of affluence and luxury. Reserved for special occasions like wedding banquets and Chinese New Year celebrations. Okay. Um, I'll put you in delicacy then, even. Type null and Savali. Okay. Type null is meant- is just sort of meant to be like an Arceus ripoff, right? Yeah, I'd put Savali in emergency rations, actually. <laughs> Don't question me on that. Okay. Minior? And you're, what is your freaking gimmick? Because you have forms here that look like Competo. It's dust in the atmosphere, the composition of the dust determines the color of its core. It does look like Competo, but I feel like it would honestly just be inedible. <laughs> I do kind of want to put them in like some parts are edible though. Uh, just looks so much like Competo. Um, next is Kamala. I don't know if. Koalas are actually edible. I know there's like one mammal that most people think would be edible, but because, like, specifically because of their diet or something, they're really not. Are they? Is it koalas? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, remains asleep from birth to death as a result of the sedative properties of the leaves that form its diet. Okay. 
Potent anesthetic can be made by diluting Kamala's jewel. This anesthetic was used for surgeries in the past. Okay. I actually put it in, like, potentially unhygienic because of that, then. Like, you could eat it, but, um, eating too much of it would probably, like, anesthetize you so much that you die. <laughs> it's literal sleep medicine. Fortunator. Do like turtle soup. We do like turtle soup. <laughs> Gushes fire and poisonous gases from its nostrils. Its tongue is an explosive substance and can be put to various uses. Um, I put tur Turtonator on there, like, on the hygiene. Okay. Togedemaru. Are you, like, a chinchilla? I think? Or something? Or something. I put Togedemaru in emergency food, I think. Um, Mimikyu. Actually, I think I can just put Mimikyu under an edible. Because it is just a ghost in a costume, so... Yeah. Bruxish. Bruxfish. Bru 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 yeah, Bruxish. Bruxish's sting is that it just has really strong teeth. Yeah, Bruxish everyday meals, honestly. Drampa. Uh, I put Drampa on emergency food. He's just a very kind old man. <laughs> but you can still eat him if you really, really wanted to. Um, I don't know what this Pokemon is. <laughs> Delmize. Okay. So seaweed drift in the waves became reborn as this Pokemon. That's just seaweed. <laughs> seaweed is edible. Put you in honestly blander taste list. I don't like seaweed. <laughs> Next is Jung Jung Mo. A lot of these Pokedex entries put like a lot of emphasis on its scales and such, so I probably put Jungmo in probably. Um, only some parts are edible. You could, you could probably eat it, but only, like, you can't eat its scales, obviously. Um, next are the tapus. Um, like, there's nothing that would imply that, um, their actual bodies were edible. But probably not their shells, honestly. So, probably honestly just put them all in, um, only some parts are edible. Good luck eating them, though. Next is Cosmog Lionel. Kind of candy, but it's like space gotten, space gotten candy. I feel like it'd be mostly like, um, space matter. <laughs> it'd be very base em base um, elements, honestly. Like helium, hydrogen. Cosmog, um, I think you're just straight up inedible. Next is Nialigo. Nialigo is rock poison type, okay. It does look like a jellyfish, and it is like a parasitic Pokemon, I think. Yeah, it is the whole reason Luzamine goes a little bit batshit. Um, yeah. Next is Buzzwool. Pretty sure Buzzwool is meant to be like just a really buff um, mosquito. <laughs> if you eat the roid bug, does it give you a roid? Good question. If we are going to go like you are what you eat, and the roid bug does give you. It does give you the roids. Um, then I would put roid bug in drugs. <laughs> I think it would honestly go more towards everyday meals. It's just a mosquito, but it has more meat on it. I'm sticking with that. Okay, sure. Is it like Pheromosa? Pheromosa, what are you based off of? American cockroach. Okay. If you're just a cockroach, um, <laughs> honestly, um, unhygienic. Okay. Uh, next is Zerkatry. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of these, um, Pokedex entries for the Ultra Beasts are not giving me much. <laughs> I think, honestly, inedible. It, it looks- it, it has tree in the name, but it's not a grass type. So, yeah. Celesteela, okay. Giant Steel Bamboo with cannons. Bamboo is edible. Bamboo shoot's also edible. Wait. Does the fact that it, it's it's a bamboo that can shoot, um, <laughs> man, okay. I'm actually looking at, like, its 3D model. It does look like it's wearing, um, the multi-layered kimono that you typically see with, um, Princess Kaguya, Kaguya Hime. I do think the fact that it is just steel-type, even though it does just look like a bamboo, it's just sort of similar to circuitry, which would just make it um, inedible. Artana. Literally just origami, it's paper. You can't eat paper, though. You can't eat paper. <laughs> Put you in emergency food, you can't eat it. You can't eat paper, if you really try. If you really, really try. <laughs> um... This one I'm pretty sure is Guzzlord. 
I think I'd honestly just put Guzzword in the inaudible then. Or maybe like even eating this will kill you. <laughs> just a feeling I have. Next is Necrozma. Probably inedible, especially it's ultra form where it's light incarnate. I see. I see, I see. I don't really know the lore behind Necrozma, honestly. I didn't play Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. Yeah. I think I'll just put them in I'll just put Necrozma in inedible. <laughs> okay. Um, Mage Arna. Mechanized like body is merely a vessel. Its true self is its soul heart and artificial soul. Heh. <laughs> Fortunately that does make it um inedible though. Um <laughs> Uh, next is Marsh Shadow. Beast on Shadow Boxing. Okay, that is not helpful at all. <laughs> Honestly, because it is a ghost type, I feel like it would just be an in inedible. Next is the new Ultra Beast. Oipol. Okay. The fact that it's poison type makes me feel like, um, you know, it would probably kill you. Uh, stores hundreds of liters of poisonous liquid inside its body. It tells me that it is honestly probably- well, Probably kill you. Stuck a stuck stuck a taco. I put you honestly in inedible. I think. Um, freaking weird little clown guy. I don't like that guy. I don't like this guy. Uh, Lacef Lacephalon. Lacephalon. Um, it slithers towards people, then without warning, it triggers the explosion of its own head. That is kind of fucked up. <laughs> I just have a feeling that just eating it will just kill you. Honestly, like you'd eat it and it would just explode inside you or something. I don't know. I don't, man. Zero Aura. I don't know anything about this Pokemon. Uh, it just seems to be electric feline, so... Um... To an emergency food, I think. Uh, Meltan. Meltan is just molten metal, right? Uh, melts particles of iron and other metals to be found in the substoil. Yeah, I think it, I think you can't just can't eat it. You can't eat that. Okay. And yeah, I think that's the end of Gen Seven. Yep. Okay.